Hey guys, Doug Renier for ProBaseballInsider.com. Today we got a treat. We're here with my man Eric Ferris. This is the guy I played with the last few years. Awesome teammate, great hitter, plays all over the field. Now he plays out on the grass in the outfield. Came up with the Brewers, big leagues with them. A fresh face for you guys uh, to just talk about a little pregame routine. So wh what do you like to do pregame wise? What do you like to do to get ready for the day? Well, you know, first off, first and foremost, when I come down to the cage, is you li like to get a, get some work off the tee, get loose. I have a routine, you know, some, somewhere between 10 to 20 swings and then uh, before I get into flips and batting practice. But, I mean, I like to come in, start working right side of the field, gradually work my way towards the middle. I like to set my ball up on the tee a certain, in a certain position where I'm hitting the, the laces at the top and inner third of, of the baseball, making sure I stay inside of everything. And the tee for me, I mean, is simply get my, my body ready, get my swing a little loose so that I'm, I'm ready to turn it on when batting practice starts. All right, so Eric, talk to us about like how you put the ball on the tee. All right, well, first and foremost, I like to get the tee set up for outside pitch something middle away you know let it get a little bit deeper in my stance you know letting the ball travel I like to set the ball up with the two seams facing me and it gives me a nice target point to hit the top and inner half of the ball so I usually aim to drive through the ball right about here and I set the, the ball on the tee like that every time that's great because that's a great focal point yeah it's uh, I mean it, it really gives you a, a emphasis on where you want to hit the ball and you know when it comes to game time and game speed you don't you don't have that so just forcing yourself to hit that top half of the ball the inner half of the ball it really uh, you know helps you when it comes to game time give us a couple see what we, what we got all right, so you said you take about you know 10 swings, whatever, just kind of whatever you feel to get loose. And then do you do anything else off the tee, or is that pretty much about it and you get ready for flips? I mean, I, I'll, I'll typically move the, the tee a little bit in my stance, make it a little bit more middle, maybe try a couple on the inner half of the plate just to keep my hands inside and really, really work through the ball. And then after that, it's flip, flip time. 